So in this video, I wanna address this simple issue of why guys often start to go out and work on approaching, start to work on flirting, then start to beat themselves up and get angry and then quit and then come back to it again later and then quit and then start again later and quit and they don't follow things through. You see that negative self-talk, it's so damn loud and you beat yourself up so hard that eventually you just think, what's the point? And then eventually when that settles down, your mind starts to come back and you start to say, I wanna do this again, I wanna do this again. And that cycle of starting and stopping, starting and stopping has a reason for it. So let's talk about that today in this video. Now, before I do, I wanna invite you to check out my book, The Art of Fearless Seduction. That book covers all the embodiment principles we're talking about in these videos, the groundedness, the turn on, the connection, the heart connection, the sexy bastard meditation, proactive, reactive, all the stuff that really helps you to become amazing with women on a subcommunication level. Remember, your 7% of communication is your words and 93% is subcommunication. So make sure to check out that book to learn more. Now, with that said, we're gonna dive in a little bit deeper. Let's take a deeper look at this principle right now. Well, there's a simple principle that is really just a habit. It's an unconscious habit. It can be a little bit of a bitch to break, but it causes you a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, and causes us to get stuck failing over and over again. What is that principle? This principle is so simple that sometimes it's easy to ignore it. It's easy not to do it, not to worry about thinking that it doesn't make that big of a difference. But the amount of difference, and I really wanna emphasize this, the amount of difference it can make in your life is absolutely huge. I used to call it success orientation. I know, a big fancy name, but uh, let's, let's look at it a little bit deeper. See, the average person that's failing all the time is failing because they're looking at what's wrong. They're looking at how they're doing something wrong. Or, or what's going wrong in the interaction they're in. They're out there talking and flirting with a girl and they come back and they beat themselves up because they didn't get her number. They beat themselves up because they didn't get sex. They're thinking about how do I fix this and with a heavy energy. There's this sense of how do I fix this? This is such a problem. How am I gonna get her number? Oh, I feel like shit. What am I gonna do about this? And what that does, if you think about it, the mind expands on what you think about. So if you've got this heavy, lethargic, wallowing kind of energy or angry energy or painful energy, the mind will expand that painful energy. So you're thinking, how do I fix this? And then all the mind hears is there's this pleading to fix something or desire to fix something from pain. And it just gives you more of what you're being. So what you're being is in pain. And so the mind goes, oh, he wants more pain and more reasons he needs to fix this, or more struggling to fix this is a better way to put it. He wants more pain and more struggle to fix this and more pleading to fix this. How do I fix this? What do I do? It doesn't give you what you want. It gives you what you're being. Hear that again. It doesn't give you what you want. It gives you what you're being. And you have to change this mentality to really move towards success. So every time you go out and approach women, for example, and maybe you approach five women and now you're like, it's not working, it's not good enough, how do I fix this, this is hard, there's gotta be a way, let me think about it. But you're thinking about it from this heavy place, looking at this heavy energy, feeling this heavy energy, and all you get more of is a heavy energy that amplifies this desire uh, and this, this need to fix something. And then as the pain gets greater and greater, according to pain pleasure principle, you end up quitting. You say, the pain becomes so big, I can only take so much, I need a break from it. And then you go do something else for a while. Come And then until you, until you get, put that, all that pain back away, until you put all that pain back away, you begin to relax. And then you'll come back with a fresh start again. And then the pain just starts building up again. What successful people do is something that's a little different. They have this success mindset. When they do all the approaches, they don't ask, how do I fix this from this heavy place? They get into a lighter space of being, they access their heart, they open their heart, they go up into gratitude. I'm learning something from each approach. How do I get a little bit better today? I'm realizing something, how do I get a little bit better? And that's all they're focusing on is how they're not heavy. They're like, how do I improve this even 1%? How do I improve this 2%? Yeah, I'm feeling a little heavy today. That's okay, I can accept that. Now, how do I get 1% better? They literally ask that question in their mind. What is going to make me better right now? And they don't, they don't say, they don't say it from a heavy place. They get light first. So if you have to, you meditate, you release. 
then you ask that question. How do I get a little better? They don't look for massive improvements. They look for simple improvements, 1%, 2%, 3%. So I go approach five women. I walk up with an open heart, but, but I get rejected four out of the five times. Maybe one girl talks to me for 10 minutes. I'm like, cool. And, but it doesn't end in a phone number. And then I go, that was awesome. I, I'll write down, the truth is I got rejected four times, but I handled the rejection pretty well. The one girl flirted with me for 10 minutes, didn't get her phone number, but that's, that's five minutes longer than I've ever done before. So that was great. Now, how do I improve 1% on that in my next five approaches? What am I gonna do? And, and I sit there and I relax until my heart opens. I say, show me the answer. Show me the answer. There's an improvement here. There's a way to improve. There's a, there's a progression, a, pro a way to take it to the next level. What is that answer? Instead of, I suck, how do I stop sucking more? You hear the difference in those tones. That tone is everything. That's why I s encourage meditation. That's why I encourage focusing on the success and not what's wrong. So as soon as you can accept the moment the way it is and say, this moment, this is what I experienced and this is what I wanna learn. I'm gonna look into the future. There is a way to get to the next level, show it to me. You have to believe it, you have to know it, you have to feel it in your bones. There is a progression. I only need 1%, show me the next 1%, then you go to the next 1%. That is the difference. So hopefully you're getting a lot of value out of this video. Hopefully you're learning something. What I wanna do is invite you to like, to subscribe, to hit that bell notification, to share and to comment in the video. All of that helps us to grow the channel. We love those comments, but particularly the subscribers and hit that bell notification because a lot of people aren't getting notified of our videos. Um, that stuff really helps us to grow the channel. We want to hit that 100,000 mark because we've got some major plans for you guys to help bring some amazing information to you on a regular basis. So now with that said, this idea is really simple, but you, the next thing you have to do is make it a habit. You ca it can't be something that you just apply on the fly. So you have to consciously ask yourself every day, am I thinking about more about what's wrong and what's not working or more about what is working and how I can get more of it? Now hear that difference. Am I thinking more about what's wrong and what's not working or more about what is working, what I'm learning and how I can get a little bit better today? What's wrong and not working, what is working and how I can get a little bit better. If you can start to develop the habit of focusing on, okay, this is what's happening right now. This is the truth of now. This is what's working in the truth of now. And how can I get a little bit better? I can accept the good and the bad. Now, what is working and how can I get a little bit better? Then what'll happen is you'll start to grow every day. The 1% rule will kick in. You'll start to get more powerful. You'll start to grow more. You'll start to succeed better and your whole life will begin to change on a radical basis. But you gotta make it a habit. So make it a conscious practice for a minimum of 30 days to work on this because this will not just change your dating life. It will change everything in your whole life, all the different aspects of your life. You apply this to money, you apply this to health, you apply this to uh, relationships, you, reply, you apply this to sex, it doesn't matter. It's all going to get better. That's how I built my life the way it is. So with that said, again, remember to like, subscribe, share, make sure to comment, make sure to hit that bell notification, do all that stuff. I really appreciate it. We're, we're flying to that 100,000 mark. We'll be there in no time and we're gonna be bringing you lots more great content. I want you to watch another video. It's my last video on why women reject men and how often men don't understand what's really going on. The game is really played in rejection. This video will really get you to understand that. And if you apply the principles in this video to being rejected by women, it's gonna make Make it so much easier to get over the rejections and actually creating tons of success in your life. So make sure to check that video out. There'll be a link in here somewhere in this video. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video.